yo guys what's going on in today's video i will show you some improvement latency drift for valorant and other competitive games the method i'm going to describe involves modifying the coalescing timer interval in the windows registry which is a known tweak for potentially reducing latency in game by adjusting timer resolution however whether it will be effective for you depends on various factors including your hardware and software configurations and the specific cause of the latency you are experiencing while some users has reported improvement in gaming performance after applying this tweak it's not a guaranteed solution and its effectiveness may vary from system to system. Additionally, modified registry settings carries a risk of causing system instability if not done correctly. So it's essential to proceed with cautions and create a backup of your registry before making any changes. Now I will show you the both method but first my opinion right now I'm using Windows 11 and the specification of my PC is uh, here you can see Ryzen 5 3600 with 16 GB RAM. So basically there's the specification. Now it's working um, perfectly for me and I have already done this on my PC. I will show you further. First of all what you need to do here you need to uh, make a registry backup. So click on the windows icon then search here for registry editor and then open it right. Now once you open this you will see here the file import and export. Now what we are gonna do here we will make a backup. Just click on export. Right. You can export it somewhere in the documents or whatever the location or destination you want. Backup. And then hit on save. Right. You cannot save to library. Please select other location. Okay. If it's not working. I can save it in drive so later on I can fix the issue further. But anyways, that's the first step. You need to make a registry backup and after that, you need to go into the HKey local machine and then expand it. Right? Then system and again expand it. Current control set, expand it. Now here you need to go again into the control and expand it. Now here you need to find the session manager. Just pr press from your keyboard S. So you will get into the, the S alphabets. And then you will see here the session manager just expand it. Right. Now the last thing you need to find here the power option which is uh, over here. And once you are here just click on the empty uh, space. And then right click right. New and then dword 32 bit value you need to create this one now give it the name c o a l e s c i n g t i m e r i n t e r v a l and then hit enter i have already created as i said i will show you just press c and c over here it's already created so you need to create this string with you and after that just close it now few more things you need to know just uh, click on the windows icon then search for graphics setting and make sure you need to add your game over here and go into the option then high performance if you don't know simply what you need to do here click on the browse and then go into the valorant folder write games valorant live shooter games binary win64 add this one and then go into the live and add this one file into the graphic settings and then go into the option and set it on high performance the both files should be on high performance after doing this now go back again and this time you need to search here for game mode once you are here make sure enable the game mode and now click on the windows icon search here for device manager now system devices and you need to find here the high precision event timer just right click on it go into the properties drivers and here you will see disable device just click on that click on yes and hit ok now the last thing again click on the windows icon and then go into the settings now go into the game mode 
make sure game bar is turned off uh, game mode now make sure enable the game mode which is important if you are using your game settings over here right and change default graphic settings make sure check these both options and that's it and then close it and now simply restart your pc and let me know your feedback if you love this video please like and subscribe to this youtube channel windows fixer for my tech support and guidance as you know we are working on the suggested topics that viewers suggest in the comment sections feel free to ask questions in the comment sections have a good day